there's been a lot of misinterpretation in terms of what risk-based means. We're going to talk about that as we go through the course. But too many people approach this in terms of it's risky not to monitor 100%. It's risky to only be on site a few days a month or a few, t few times during a study instead of looking at the actual risk of the study. And so I just want to make sure that right away we break through that urban myth. The other document that's been provided, again, for your reference, is the guidance for industry that was approved last year entitled Oversight of Clinical Investigations, a Risk-Based Approach to Monitoring. And this is where I'll be pulling some of the information as we start out, but certainly this is an FDA guidance document. So I also want to ensure that you are familiar with or understand that the European Union has also recently approved risk-based monitoring, or not approved it, sorry, but they have finalized their reflection paper on the same information. And then I did include this as well because it's fairly new, the Guidance for Industry Electronic Source Data and Clinical Investigations. This just came out September 2013 and is a little bit relevant to risk-based monitoring as we consider what can we do remotely? What kind of requirements do we need when we go on site to focus on for source documentation? What do we need to look at? And interestingly enough, what this guidance document says for the first time really I think sort of in writing is that there is certain information that can just be captured directly on case report forms. It does not need a source document. And in the past, that was mostly quality of life questionnaires or something that would have to be transcribed that was completed directly by a physician or a patient. And they just had to have documented somewhere that you were using a case report form as a source. But this guidance document takes a little bit further and talks about the fact that just some very generic or very general data points being collected specifically for a study, such as vital signs, may be captured directly on a case report form. And where that plays into risk-based monitoring is that, again, maybe changes our approach in terms of what we have to source verify and also changes the approach in terms of if we look at it remotely, we know that that is all the information that there is, that we do not later have to go back and source verify it. Mm -hmm.